fill my time, mother. You might be acting a little bit better than what you were, because I would have been smacked your head a long time ago. Oh, Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. But because you're not my child for real, your parents raised you up, and half of y'all are spoiled, and you should get your way. Praise the Lord. You better be careful. Hallelujah. That you don't think you're so big and bad, and that you don't listen to who God has put in your life to guide you. How you gonna tell me what I, I know what you mean, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway. That's the spirit we have in the name. It ain't only these younger people. Some of you older people are what the, the third person. These are fools. Amen. Amen. Joseph had a dream when he told it to his brothers. They hated him even more. Tap somebody real quick and say, be careful. Who you divulge your dreams to. They may be firefighters. What's a firefighter? They're going to try to extinguish your fire. Oh, you, are you sure? That's a lot of money, Rhonda, girl. You can, are you sure? That's a, y'all sure y'all want that building? You sure that's your building, Rhonda? Huh? Are you sure that's a lot of money? Are you sure you want to take the ministry this direction? Yes, I'm sure. Come on, sir. Let me tell you something. It's powerful. Yeah. I had a young girl just graduated with Pastor Sonia. And she said, I want to go to Wilmington University yes. to pursue nursing. Yes. She came the other day, and I said, you're still going to Wilmington University? She said, I, well, no. I said, no. But this season, yes. even in the church, man, you want to watch who you share it with. Some of the church folk like sitting on, God gave me mercy. Ooh. No weapon upon it gets me so prosper. We moving past those scriptures, yes. and we going after our wealth. How about that? Yes. I don't need But the Bible said a good man yeah. I think it happens for his children, children. Yeah. I want to be the good man. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, so yes, sir. he said, listen to this dream I had. We were all out in the field gathering bundles of wheat. All of a sudden, my bundle stood up straight. And your bundle circled around it and bowed down to mine. There was a man named Ralph Waldo Emerson. Tell your neighbor, think differently. Beware when the great God lets loose a thinker on this planet. <laughs> Tell somebody think differently. Think differently. His, I know it's your family. Right. Some of y'all tell me that's my family. I don't care about your family. Okay. Praise the Lord. Some of them have not been afforded the opportunities that we've had. Yeah. My grandmother only finished eighth grade just because she was 76. Praise the Lord. Amen. But she believed in God to help her read and do everything else. But I have no business talking about I can't finish the eighth grade. All this tutor and sales and learning centers and boys and girls club, I had no business that came up talking about I can't finish school. The devil is a liar. Yes, when my family ain't finished school, I should have to finish it. And if you are a family member and you are aiming and a penny, this person running from education, what's wrong with you? Amen. We didn't get you up to this altar, too. Amen. He said, his brother said, Sir, you're going to rule us? Remember, he was the youngest. You're going to rule us? You're going to boss us around? And they hated him more than ever because of his dreams Amen. and the way he talked. See that? He was talking, prosperous talking. See, y'all dogs are prosperous talking people, but you mad because you can't pay your light bill. Praise the Lord. Tell your neighbor, talk differently this season. If you say God is your God and he's providing this and he's supplying this, then talk a different talk this season. What you sitting around people for that's depressed? And what you sitting around people yeah. for that are slackers? Why are you sitting around people that don't want to do nothing? And talk about your life going to change. As long as you sit around people that don't want to go nowhere. And ministry and outside the church. You might be just like them. But this season, lift your hands up and say, I'm going to think differently. So, thank you, Lord. John C. Maxwell. He wrote something called uh, Six Diagrams of Success. And one thing you need to know, and you can tell your neighbor, this is from a book, this ain't from the Bible. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. Praise the Lord, I like relevant issues right. to preach what God has said. Is that all right? Amen. Say success is not final. Success is not final. And failure is not fatal. Failure is not fatal. Look at somebody else and say success is not final. You gotta keep on learning, keep yes. on going, keep on growing, keep on building your skills. 
but say neighbor also, also. Failure, failure is not fatal. It's not, it's not gonna kill me. It won't hurt me down. It won't hurt me back. It has nothing to do with my future. It has nothing to do with where I'm going. It has nothing about my dreams. It's not fatal. It's not fatal. So one day he said, he said, successful people reject rejection. That was good, Nick. Okay. Mm -hmm. He said successful people Come on. reject rejection. Be just so you didn't give me a loan for the new building we want. So you didn't give me the loan for my new cosmetic bar. Come on, you quiet. He said, so you didn't give me the loan. But somebody else will give it to you. Another dream. The sun and moon and eleven stars bowed down to me. He said when he told it to his father and his brothers, his father reprimanded him. What's with all this dream? Hmm. Mm -hmm. But there's a little scripture in Philippians, third chapter, twelve and fourteen, and I'm gonna read the message. This is I'm not saying. This is Paul that I have this all together, that I have made it, but I am well on my way. Reaching out for Christ, who has so wondrously reached out for me. Friends, don't get me wrong. By no means do I count myself an expert in all of this. Paul, I ain't no better than you. I'm right where you were. I'm just like you. Y'all hear me? Mm -hmm. He said, but I've got my eye on the goal, where God is beckoning me onward to Jesus. He said, I'm off and running, and I'm not turning back. I need you to look at the neighbor and say, I'm off and running, and I'm not going to turn back. Say it till you get convicted in your spirit, say, I'm off and running, and I'm not going to turn back. Certainly us in here, we've had some goals that didn't turn out quite like we wanted them, but we're going to declare today, I'm off and running, and I'm not ever going to turn back. 